today, we're learning how to compare numbers using place value disks. Let's start by comparing 457 and 547 using the greater than, less than, or equal to symbol. Well, let's get started by showing these numbers with place value disks. I can make 457 by using 400s disks, 510s disks, and 7 ones disks. Right below that, let's make our number 547. I'll use 500s disks, 410s disks, and 7 ones disks. When we do this, we can see the differences between the numbers. When comparing numbers, it makes the most sense to compare the largest place value first, because each hundred is worth a lot more than a 10 or a 1. Well, 547 has one more hundred in it. That means 547 has to be the bigger number. It doesn't matter how many 10s or how many 1s we have. Having an extra 100, it's like having 10 extra 10s. Or it's like having 100 extra 1s disks. That's too many to even show here. So because 547 has more 100s than 457, we know 547 is the bigger number. As a final step, we have to write this comparison with a greater than, less than, or equal to symbol. Well, we know 457 is less than 547, so we use the less than symbol, like this. Today, you'll be comparing numbers using place value disks, just like I did. Let's start by doing one together. Let's compare 273 and 277 using the greater than, less than, or equal to symbol. First, let's show these numbers with place value disks. Which of these shows 273? 273 is made of 200s, 710s, and 3-1s. Next, which of these shows 277? 277 is made of 200s, 710s, and 7-1s. Now let's start comparing. When we compare numbers, what should we compare first? We always start by comparing our largest place values, so we'll start with our hundreds. Here, both of these numbers have two hundreds, which means they're the same. It doesn't help us compare. So we'll cross those off and look at the next place value, the tens. Which number has more tens? Both these numbers also have seven tens, so again it's the same. We'll cross out those numbers and look to the last place value, the ones. Which number has more ones? 277 has more ones, so that means 277 must be our larger number. How can we write this comparison? Since 277 is the larger number, it means 273 is less than 277, so we'll use a less than symbol. 273 is less than 277. Let's try another problem together. Let's compare 891 and 819 using the greater than, less than, or equal to symbol. First, let's show these numbers with place value disks. Which of these shows 891? 891 is made of 800s, 910s, and 1 1. Next, how can we show 819? 819 is made of 800s, 110, and 9 ones. Now compare these on your own. Which number is larger? Both numbers have 800s, so that doesn't help us. But when we look at the tens, we see 891 has more tens. That means 891 is our larger number. So we'll write 891 is greater than 819. We use a greater than symbol. Great work. Now it's time for you to try some problems on your own. Compare 654 and 645 using the greater than, less than, or equal to symbol. Well, first we can show these with place value disks. Here's 654, and here is 645. Now both numbers have 600s, but when we look at the tens, 654 has five tens, but 645 only has four. 
That means 654 is our larger number. We can write 654 is greater than 645. We'll use the greater than symbol. Now here's one last problem to try. Compare 256 and 652 using the greater than, less than, or equal to symbol. First, we show these numbers with place value disks. Here's 256, and here's 652. When we compare, we see 652 has more hundreds. That means it has to be our larger number. We can stop here. Well, if 652 is larger, that means we'll write 256 is less than 652. So we use a less than symbol like this. Great job. Now you know how to compare numbers using place value disks. That's all for now, but stay tuned for next time.